Hi, this is Chris at Tasty Vapor. You have either just purchased or you're thinking about purchasing a Smoke Woo. The Smoke Woo is not the most basic, nor is it the fanciest personal vaporizer, but it is a real good bang for your buck. The kit comes with the device itself, four Ego DC cartomizers, four, that's two sets of batteries, and a sample size Tasty Vapor liquid, and the Trust Fire charger. Now to get started, when you get your Woo, the first thing you're going to want to do is charge your batteries by inserting them into the, the Trust Fire charger. The lights will turn red, indicating that it's in charging mode. When the lights turn green, they're fully charged. The charger is off when the lights are green, so feel free to leave your spare set in there without any fear of overcharging your batteries. So the next thing you're going to want to do is put your fully charged batteries into your Smoke Woo. You'll unthread the bottom plug. And I'm going to start with a pair of batteries that I've already charged. You'll insert them positive or button end first. Be careful reinserting the plug. If you cross thread that, you can damage the tube. At this point, when you push the button, it should light up. There you go. It's ready to go. So the next thing you're going to want to do is fill your cartomizer. Now, the cartomizer, which a cartomizer is part cartridge and cart at part atomizer. Remove the mouthpiece and we're going to fill it through the mouthpiece end. Now inside the tube, you can see there's polyfill with a tube down the middle. And what you're going to do is you're going to drip the liquid onto the polyfill without sending it down the center tube. Now these hold about 5 milliliters, which is approximately 150 drops. Now you're going to place about 10 drops inside. Wait a second for it to absorb, rotate it a quarter turn. Another 10 drops. Now you're going to continue this until you put in well over 100 drops. And here you can see the liquid pools up without absorbing readily. Take the cartomizer and give it a couple shakes just like your mom used to shake the thermometer. And top it off with a few more. Another 10, another 10, and you can see it pulling up again. So at this point, you probably you can get a drip, a drip out the bottom indicating it's a little over full. You really want the cartomizer better over full than under full. If you energize the cartomizer and the coils are touching some dry polyfill, it'll melt the polyfill, which puts a burnt taste into it, which is really something you want to avoid. So at this point, replace the mouthpiece and thread the cartomizer onto your device snug, not too tight and you're ready to go. Pushing the button while drawing through the mouthpiece all the joys of smoking without the smoke. You can customize your vaping experience by drawing through the mouthpiece before pressing the button and get a lighter hit. Or if you like a real heavy hit Activate it before drawing through the mouthpiece. Experiment with it and see what suits you the best. After several hours of use, you're going to have to top off your cartomizer. Learning when to top it off is going to take some practice, but you'll, you'll first notice you get a much harsher hit from it. At that point, you should really top it off the same way you filled it, but only 30 or 40 drops this time. Uh, if you let it get too dry and start to get the burnt taste, you really want to top it off before it gets to that because burning the polyfill is something, it'll ruin the cartomizer. You can't get the flavor out uh, once that happens. A few more notes on the basic operation. To turn the device off, five clicks on the button in succession, and it'll flash back at you five times, and the device is now off pushing the button does not activate the cartomizer, does not light up. At this point you can put it in your pocket, purse, or glove box without fear of it accidentally uh, energizing the, the cartomizer. Uh, five more clicks. It'll flash back at you five times and now it's back on and ready for use again. Now when the batteries in the Woo get low, you push the button and it's going to flash and it's not going to energize the cartomizer and that's telling you it's time to change the batteries. So in a nutshell, that's your basic operation. 
Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call toll free at 888-389-3229 or email us at mixteam at tastyvapor.us or log on to our website and use the live chat during our business hours. Uh, thank you very much for watching and happy vaping.